Welcome back to On Point Showdown Edition. James, a race uh, really I can't believe is actually happening, but undefeated champion Nyquist, undefeated multiple graded stakes winner Moeyman. They're going to throw down, or at least racing fans hope they throw down in the Florida Derby. You and Vance will actually handicap the race and give a pick in earnest on the next On Point. But you and I, if you had to pick one, we're just going to limit it to the two headliners. Who you got? Well, I would go with uh, Nyquist, perhaps, because he's got speed, and I'm just, like, wondering if there'll be any other speed. I mean, he's got a tactical advantage, and for me, you know, this this could be his derby. I mean, they're going there strictly for the million-dollar bonus, whereas, uh, you know, Mohamed and McLaughlin, you know, they're thinking more Kentucky Derby, in my eyes, than uh, Doug O'Neill and the connections of Nyquist. Yeah, and, and this is a mile and an eighth, and I'm not nearly as big on the mile and a quarter card as a lot of people are. But I did notice an interesting thing. If you look at the Breeders' Cup Classic Futures, Moeyman's 15 to 1, Nyquist is 50 to 1. Right. And granted, that's very unscientific, you know, reasoning for a mile and a quarter and it's months away, etc. But to me, that pretty much tells you all you need to know about what people think of their futures are down the road. And as you said, this is a million dollar bonus. It's a mile and an eighth. It's a track that can favor Nyquist style versus Moeyman. I'm with you. I've had the champ number one for a while. I'm not saying he's going to be my derby pick, even with the win here, but I do think he has the edge. Yeah, I mean, it's so rare. I mean, to have, you, you've had horses that have shipped uh, from the West Coast, you know, to like New York for the Wood Memorial or perhaps the Bluegrass before, but you never had a, a scenario where you've had, you know, the, the leader on the West Coast ship into the East Coast just in, to square off in, a, in, in what could shape up just to be a match race between him and uh, Mohamed. I mean, they're, they're still like working to get the horses entered in that field, and I guess a field of six right now is a, is probable but uh you know it's 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 going to be another short field and that like i said before that's going to help uh nyquist tomorrow's yeah i agree and uh yeah you mentioned the wood of course fusaichi pegasus shipped there uh this mm -hmm. is 2000 bob baffert shipped in there before now he doesn't go quite as far he's fond of shipping into oaklawn uh but right. yeah it's not uncommon for that uh shipping east before the derby but the florida derby is a you know typically more the lair of the, the east coasters so uh this is it's interesting for that reason as well and you got the champion and uh vance who will be your guest uh tomorrow's on point and who will be at the florida derby but he wrote a great blog looking at uh showdowns in the past of top three-year-olds and really this is very rare error to get these two in the gate at this stage on the derby trail absolutely i mean yeah the, the like and there's a couple examples that they have cited but like you there are those showdowns in in the past are between horses that are based at the same track right so. yeah or or maybe as two-year-olds it happened and then they go their own separate way at three like affirmed in alley dar and spectacular right. bid uh, the, the next year but yeah this is uh, definitely special I think it's going to be a great race uh, I think you know I don't know how much we want to say we're going to learn because it's like you said Moeyman doesn't have to win and Nyquist might not be mile and a quarter or at his best at a mile and a quarter etc cetera, etc cetera. but you know for the money involved and for what's on the line this is a big race and I know we'll be looking forward to seeing Vance take on it yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's back-to-back -back weekends at Gulfstream where they're going to have a lot of focus, you know, yeah. after the Rainbow Six and now this uh, Titanic showdown. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to Vance's uh, coverage down there. All right, well, again, uh, join us on the next on point. Don't join me. You'll join uh, James and Vance. They'll uh, look at the full field. Uh, we have the lane, that, or excuse me, the spiral stakes as well this weekend, and then the action shifts uh, to Keeneland next week, opening day, the Wood, Santa Anita Derby, lots to talk about yeah. over the next and few Ed, weeks. And Ed will be at uh, uh, Turfway Park uh, for the uh, uh, spiral draw, so That's right. lots of good information on his Twitter account, so check that out. All right, we'll leave the links below, and uh, join us tomorrow for another On Point.